around my story. Hello, my name is Adrian and I am 27 years old. I am an archaeologist and the leader of an archaeological team. We have recorded many archaeological discoveries and earned many honors in our country. We are renowned and popular with the media. Yet, in spite of all my achievements, I wasn't satisfied. My dream in life was to discover the hidden gold of King Pedro, the second king of Peru. He was reputed in many legends to have possessed a vast treasure of gold. However, there was no concrete evidence of this. For all I knew, it may have been just old wives' tales passed down through the generations. I was the only one I knew who took the legend seriously. King Pedro had been famous for his power and strength. The stories mentioned that he had many hidden underground treasures, so there was at least a chance that these stories and legends might be true. I started my journey by searching the internet for maps and data from any previous expeditions to Peru. I read their notes, logs, and experiences there. I found a lot of data but no solid information that I could hang my hat on. I didn't give up though. I invited a few trusted members of my team to accompany me on an expedition to Peru. A four-day trip saw us arrive at the South American forest, a heavily forested place, an ideal place for a king to hide his treasure. The forest was full of wild animals, and we were attacked several times. Every night, we would have insect bites all over our bodies. Still, I didn't lose hope in spite of these adversities. All evidence pointed to a place called the Tiger's Eye, somewhere in the middle of the forest. It was believed to be a lava tube or cave of some sort, with a lava flow that went deep into the earth. When we reached what we believed to be our destination, we were so tired. Yet, my enthusiasm and face drove me to want to go down into the hole immediately. My team warned me to exercise caution, but I was too excited too close to potentially achieving my life stream. I rigged a rope and began lowering myself down into the hole. I quickly learned that this had been a mistake. The air in the hole was scalding hot. Sparks were rising with the hot air flow up and out of the hole. The rope started smoldering where small sparks in the stifling air uptake had clung to the rope, creating small burning embers. I began to worry that my rope might burn through and drop me into this hellhole. But right before I started to pull myself back up, I glimpsed something. Something shiny. As my eyes adjusted to the darkness, I saw flashes of gold tint embedded in the rock and glinting in the faint sunlight glow from above. I climbed out of the hole, soaking in sweat, sucking in the cool, refreshing air to expel the burning air from my lungs. I told my team about the veins of gold in the walls of the hole. We set up a camp for a few weeks and were able to extract a small fortune's worth of gold. It wasn't King Pedro's gold treasure, but it was close enough to make our expedition worthwhile. It was a great discovery in that my trip wasn't completely in vain. Can I call my dream a success?